I have a 2004 GMC Denali all-wheel drive, all-wheel steering. The quarter, quarter steer. So I'm working on a engine replacement. This motor is a 2008 and a 2004. To do that, the uh, used to be a, two, a 24 tooth reluctor. Now it's a 58 reluctor. So you'll need one of these and this motor here. I had to get adapters for the injectors, adapter for the throttle body, the uh, X-Link. Let's see, where is it at? Right here. X-Link for the throttle body. Take the throttle body that came with the crate motor off and get an LS3. Throttle body. Here comes my little helper, Henry. Henry, settle down. What other adapters did I have to get? Oh, knock sensors. Redrill the block in the 04 Gen 3 that comes originally in this truck, 6 liter. The knock sensors are in the intake manifold. This has the knock sensors on the side. So take the ones that come with it out. I think I, oh, they're all in this box. Sorry for the moving around. That's what comes on the box. This, that's what comes in on that crate motor. Gen 408 motor. But you need to run the stock ones. Because the computer is pretty dumb, they say. So I put an adapter on this side because the one on the, this motor, this truck has an oil cooler. So the where I retap the line on the bottom on a block, couldn't get to it because the oil cooler lights are in the way. So I put a little adapter on this. to extend it out right there in between the heads driver's side so it seems like it's gonna work there so let's see adapter for the knock sensor adapter for the 24 to 58 reluctor adapter for the throttle body new throttle body LS3 throttle body you have to run and the injectors plugs is different also, so adapter for the injectors also. And it's a single feed fuel line. So luckily, that's all I did have. The exhaust manifolds are the same. The exhaust is the same. I'm not building a hot rod. I just built this <coughs> building, excuse me, this <coughs> more newer motor <coughs> than the 04. Has a lot more torque and a lot more horsepower. So that's what you need to do to put a Gen 4 in a Gen 3 truck. If I would have known about all the adapters, I think I just would have went, oh, I still need to get it tuned. If I would have known all this from the beginning, I think I just would have went with the Holly Terminator and a harness for this motor. Because then it tunes itself, self-learning. I still have to find somebody to tune it. I talked to a couple of people and they still don't think they could do it. 
So that's my next task on this, is looking for a tuner. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching. Just paying it forward, YouTube. Thanks.